left click on the insert slot where the arrow is and from the plugin list navigate to delay reverb EFX stereo delay. I'm using the preset delay analog old tape. Position the play cursor before the active object and press the spacebar to start playback. When playback reaches the object start, the effect will kick in. You can hear that when the play cursor reaches the end of the object, the delay stops abruptly. Because the plugin is set to pre-fade, any slight crossfade will affect the tail of the delay. Select the adjacent object to the right and you should see a square object fade handle positioned near the top left edge of that object. Grab that fade handle and pull it to the right. Play that part again and this time you'll notice that the delay tail continues playing for the duration of the fade. This my, my, my. Try adjusting the fade by different amounts and note how it affects the delay. This my, my, my. It's it's also worth experimenting with different fade types. Click on the Fades tab to access these. Take note you can fine tune the position by grabbing the handle at the bottom left hand corner. This will move the entire fade left or right. If I adjust the handle completely to the left so there is no fade, you'll notice that the effect tail will play as normal. So to summarize, when plugins are set to pre-fade, FX tails can be controlled by adjusting the object fade. You can change this behavior by moving the plugin to post-fade. Right click on the small rectangular button above the top insert slot to open the plugin configuration window. Now select the stereo delay and click the downward arrow to move it to the post fade position. By the way, you can also add plugins from within this window beyond the 5 slot limit of the object editor. Now when I play the object, the delay is no longer influenced by the fade. This my, 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 my. It's not gonna hurt. To summarize, plugins set to post fade ignore object fades.